Oh, little uh, short horror story. The uh, bricks have arrived, but I'm just going to move up a bit so I can get the van here. Just so nobody drives into our mixer. He's come back for two minutes. He's already uh, correcting stuff that I've done. So there you go. So now the corners are up, I can get a corner set up while I sort through this. See you at 8 o'clock. That is sunny. <laughs> it is the 22nd of March and it is 10 past 8. And as you can see, I'm uh, all by myself because, um, oh, little uh, short horror story. The uh, bricks have arrived, but I'm sure as you can tell looking at that, that doesn't quite look enough for a double skin wall, does it? Because it's not. <laughs> Dad um, accidentally underestimated and uh, did the price, f like, ordered the bricks for a single skin wall, so he's had to nip two berries, go and pick them up, so. Mum dropped me off here and I've, um, as you can see, I've uh, got all them out the way, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry bond this to see how the bond's going to work, and then I'm going to load some bricks out, get a mix in, and just uh, wait for Dad to come back so we can get started properly. He should be here soon, I think, because he's done with berries, but yeah, that's my job, and hopefully the weather stays like this. It's meant to rain, but checking the app, it's not going to be till late, so fingers crossed for that rain holding off, because it would be a lovely day, if not. So yeah, enough dilly-dallying, I'll um, set you up while I'm dry bonding and catch you in a bit, see you when Dad comes back. So, not too bad. I think that's how the pillar works. I'm not entirely sure because um, obviously Dad will have to correct me, but I'm going off of a brick and a half pillar. So, I think, if anything, I'm just gonna change that to a half like that, and that should give it plenty more spread. Yeah, that's half a brick's worth of spread there going back, so. Reduce that to about here. Much better. So yeah, well, the roll doesn't work too bad. One thing you've, well, obviously, anyone will know this, but one thing you've always got to be careful of in these uh, walls are bricks like this. Now, let me just put this next to this one in comparison. I don't want to cut this bit out. You gotta watch out for big bricks because I don't know if you can see that, but it's only a little difference. But that on 10 bricks is nearly a whole crush joint's worth of uh, space lost. So if you got a uh, if you got big orange brick in your uh, in your packs, make sure you space them out well or know where they are so you can compensate. Very just short tip for you. <laughs> But that's caught us out many times, especially on here. Back on site work, it was a nightmare. Anyway, I'm rambling here because I'm waiting for Dad. So that's the dry bonding done. I'll leave that there for Dad to see. And I'll load some brick and get it mixed in. Happy days. Here he comes, walk, walking out of the sunset. <laughs> sunrise. Sunrise. Well, here we go. So the band's back together. Got some bricks loaded out and I'm going to get this mix in now. So. I'm just going to move up a bit so I can get the van here. Just nobody drives into our mixer. He's come back for two minutes, he's already uh, correcting the stuff that I've done. We yes, so we're going to be doing bucket gauge so it's all right. And then obviously, if you're familiar with our methods, we've got our trench block, which we're going to bed down and attach the profile to. So, I'm going to get cracking. So, without further ado, Let's start making some noise. There we go, that is a mix ready. That is a dad ready. 
got a trench block on ready. So, oh, you've learnt, you've learnt as well, you've got your corner block out first. Many times we've caught ourselves out with our own tactic there. So, corner block first for the first few courses, then it's the profile. You can't put the can't put line on the bottom three of the profile. No. You should have the max on really, especially with it being like this windy. That's why I'm uh, huddled up against it. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Onto the brickwork. <coughs> Pass you to, oh, pass you. I'll set you up on time lapse while we get these first few courses in. Right, got the dead cat on just for the wind. Hope it's hopefully it's working. <clears throat> right, that's how we're going. I'm gonna wrap around this pillar, which is a bit of a pain, but it is what it is. So that's our bond now. There's a half there, but this is just getting our bond right. So working from that end, we're gonna work to brick up to the original wall and then the back's gonna have the piece in the back. So we've run the first course in, check it for level and I'm happy with that, Alex. So we've got our bond, got our level, got our pillar set out, got our trench block up. So once we get to the top of the trench block, the profile goes onto that, and that's it, we're away. Pier caps, pier caps there. Got the laser level out, but I don't think we need it. I might just, when the profile's up, just transfer the top of the wall level to the onto the profile. We can gauge down and put some marks on it. And. I just want to show you is tight wires. <clears throat> we're not we're not gonna go for English Garden Warbomb because no other house on the estate has got it. And these bricks, there's so many different sizes in these bricks. On the back of the wall, you're gonna have the the uh, the head is going a bit wonky, so we don't want that. <clears throat> so should we get on time lapse and get a crack on? Yep. Right. So you can hear me over that bloody piece of that cable, that's it. It's just so high up. I should have took it out of the bottom of the box somehow. But um, yeah, I've got the evolution. Cut that, and drop that down like that into the ground and then it get buried. As you can see, it's not very well buried at the moment. Nice and neat. So I hope you heard any of that, but back to time lapse. Right, Clive Holland's just started, so it's just after 12. 20 past 12. Hmm? 20 past 12. 20? Yeah. Oh my god. So, we've got, we're up four. This is starting, I'm really struggling today with my back and my hips, especially my hips. So it's getting kind of comfortable now. I had someone in the comments before um, criticising me because I was working on my knees. So you try working, bending down with osteoarthritis in your hips and see how much fun you, do, you, you find it. That's why I bend down, that's why I kneel on my knees. Anyway, that's enough moaning. We've got it up four. We've got another one, two, three, four, 
five to go. Then the position of the brick and edge that you can see here, that's where the brick and edge will be. Uh, there's 48 per course we've worked out. So five courses at 48, there's another 240 face brick to go, plus the pillar, which will go up probably two or three courses above the wall. Uh, there's 160 in the van and what we've got loaded out here. Um, the trench box finished with up to now, so now it's ready for the profile to go on it, which I'm going to do any minute while Alex is jointing up, because these are like sponges, they go off right off, don't they? Oh yeah. I've got to join them like pretty much every other course. So I'll set that up. And the other thing I'd like to show is when we're doing a nine inch wall, some people just run the front in and rack back the corners at either end. We run this front skin in, then we carry the course on around the back to there, measure that 215 and then hook the line on and run that back in at the same time. It's easy to get at, it's easy to see and I know people don't like working overhand but it's so much easier instead of loading out two lots of walls and stuff. So um, yeah we're up for profile up, quick lunch and then crack on. So we'll see you after lunch while this battery gets charged. Right, another quick update, how oh, you can pick this up with this wind, hopefully this thing is working. Camera says it's working, oh camera went in the red then, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah Alex has got the third mix in, so we're past halfway, we've got four to go, brick and edge and a couple of courses on the pillar. The um, We've pulled the van up to here now because uh, the bricks are in the back of the van, what's left, all these have gone. It's a, it's a slow going today. I'm, I'm, I'm not good today. I'm really suffering my hips today. So Alex is carrying me today. We've got enough sand mm. for one more mix. Right. So that's 480 brick. It's going to be close, isn't it? Especially when we've got half a dozen bags in the garage. Yeah, d d um, as Alex probably explained to you about the run not enough bricks. Yeah. yeah. So. I thought, well, we're going to need more cement. Picked the cement up. Never thought we'd need more sand because I only got half a ton. So you get, obviously, we're getting four mixes to half a ton. I think you might get a mix in a bit out of that. I think we might just scrape it. Do we have enough cement, though? Yeah, plenty of cement. There's another two bags in there. Oh, is there? Um, before this gets put away, I'm just going to transfer the top of that wall, the top of the wall level over there, onto the profile so we can, we've got so much to aim at. It's pretty level as it's going anyway, as it is. Yeah. I don't know if this was theft or these have been coming wobbly lately. Lost the wheel trim. That means another. Uh, last time I bought wheel trims, they were probably about 12 quid a set. And probably near 40, 50 quid a set now. But obviously you can't buy one. These are the Ford ones as well. So I, I'm not bothered about getting Ford ones. Just. Just to tidy, I'll just have to get a set to tidy that up. And we've had a phone call about the mixer, spare parts, which you'll see in an upcoming episode. We're going to do a video dedicated to it. Yeah. So, as it's so windy, I'm going to take the mics off now, put you up on the van, and put you on time lapse. It's a nice little view from up there. I got this mix finished. Catch you in a bit.
five o'clock. <laughs> and brickwork's finished, so now it's the brick on edge and pier cap. So I'm going to get tidied up while Dad gets started. We're just going to work on so I can come back tomorrow to the air bricks. So the wall's finished, there's a few bits to do tomorrow, but Alex is having to tomorrow off and I'm coming back in just to finish the bits. That's the other thing working on a bit late. A bit. <laughs> it's going to be seven o'clock. So we'll uh, we'll get we'll change this battery and we'll get you set up somewhere you can watch the uh, brick and edge go up. Yeah. Oh. 
cut that bit out. Yeah. Can you just get me a bit of some clean water and mix it off now before it stains? Pretty cracking if you ask me. So obviously we're using a black mix just so it uh, blends in nicer with that brick on edge and then there's gonna be a nice pier cap go on there. Not a coping head. <laughs> I'll probably get called another head if I uh, said that properly on uh, on this channel. So there you go. So now that the corners are up that can get a corner set up while I sort through this. See you at 8 o'clock.
60 bang on. Gauge plus 10 mil. Because you've got a bed, you've got a joint at each end. Because your gauge doesn't, have a jo doesn't count a joint at each end. <laughs> yeah. It's tonight, but I was like, it wasn't my idea to stay, stay this late. Plans of putting the um, loading out on the back, putting trestles up and putting the bricks on it.
voila rebedded this coping on because it come loose nice little half there the post back down the post and the fabric and edge sorry about the wind what's in that about about 65 brick hmm? about 65 isn't it because we got 80 got a couple of duds and a few left over yeah about 60 odd brick so a bit like the other two walls you've got the nice plain mortar on the brick and then you've got the contrast of the dark mortar with the grey brick and obviously that's going to dry a lot greyer than that's going to it's going to dull right down when it gets bleached out by the sun so it's going to look more like that so that's going to work really nicely with them it's going to look smart so while that's going off I'm going to get this pier cap bedded on while Alex gets tidied up and then when it when you're ready to go once we've jointed up and covered up because I think it's going to rain so oh, let me go and get that pier cap on There we go. We're not finished, finished yet, but we're racing against that. So I'm, I'm wrapping it up quick, and the clock as well. Excuse the wind. I'm wrapping it up quick before uh, we get drenched and the wall gets drenched. But there you have it. That is one nicely finished off wall. At about bloody time, is it? 27? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it was a bit of a, uh, a drag today, but it also wasn't a bad day. Just uh, just time consuming with all the stuff we had to do. But there's a little look at the other side too. And our pier cap. So we'll give you a little uh, B-roll footage at the end once it's all completely finished, if it's not raining. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna cover it up and that's, I'm going to come back tomorrow and get them air brick done for the little porch. So, B-roll incoming, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, you want to see more stuff like this, or that, be sure to hit subscribe and tap on that bell. That way you'll always be notified when we upload. That's always a massive help for me. I greatly appreciate all the support for the channel. This has been... Brick Lane with Steve and Alex. I don't know, very nice wall. And we'll see you in the next video. Cue the B roll. <laughs>